What you guys got another video here for you in this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can load registry hives or mount registry hives from another machine and we can actually make changes to those hives and then reload them back onto a new machine now this is great for a technician if the machine has been compromised by malware and we need to make changes to that registry or it may be a case that we want to uh, make edits to the registry or we may want to uh, remove uh, parts of the uh, structure of that registry hive so let's have a look at what we can do here inside windows now there's numerous different ways to actually uh, edit the registry hives uh, you can do this in a live environment with a live CD and load up the hive that way or you can uh, use um, MS dart CDs to actually edit the registry and also we could use a Kaspersky rescue CD and stuff like that to to have do a remote registry edits so here we can see we have got some registry hives from another machine and uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to load these in now I'm not going to be doing this in a live environment this is a Windows 7 machine so we're going to need the registry editor for this one and uh, just going to type reg edit and open up the registry editor so let me just make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing now by default you will be looking at this uh, registry editor like this this is uh, how it will look when it's first opened the first thing we need to do is load our hive in okay now this is already uh, the registry hive for this machine but we want to load in our uh, remote registry here which we've got on the desktop so what we're going to do is highlight the HK local machine and then go file and load hive as you can see we are already in our hives folder which is what I've uh, put onto the machine and uh, you can look at uh, whichever registry hive you want I've just got two here um, but these are software and system so if you wanted to make changes to the system the operating system you'd load the system one in and now you can call this whatever you like it will go back to whatever name you like once you finish so I can call this uh, Brytech system and this is so I can uh, see it in my list so here we have Brytec system here and there we have our registry I've loaded in and you can make changes to this if you wish uh, and, and whatever you want and once you've done that save that and then drop that back onto the machine or you can pull out um, data from here if you wish okay so that's how you load up the system file let's just load one more up here so I'm just going to quickly go back to HK local machine and click on load you can load in as many as you like I'm going to load in the software one this time and this will have all the software inside there okay so if you had loads of programs in there this was where this is where they would be located on the machine okay I'll show you where they're located in a second click open and we can call this a uh, uh, Brytec software like so and then once you've done that this will load up that I've also and then you can make changes to this to whatever you wanted to do okay if it's something you needed to remove you could also do that and remove this from here or make changes and then when you wanted to save this you don't just close it what you need to do is you need to go file and unload the IVE okay and then say yes and this will make changes after you've uh, made them so it's going to unload those now we can close that and as you can see they've gone back to the way they were and you could just drop these back onto the system or you could uh, do whatever you like with them really but basically that's what you could do uh, if the drive was in a dock or something like that you could also uh, put them back onto there once you've made your changes so where are these hives let me just quickly show you where they live we're going to go into the C root directory here Windows and system 32 then into config and here we have our registry this is our registry hives and all in inside here you'll see depending on how much data you've got on the system ie programs and stuff like that this will be a software one here you've also got the system and uh, you've got some other parts here SAM default 
and so on okay but basically that is your registry hives and you can uh, pull these out and you've seen me in my previous videos uh, on how to mess around with these but that's how you load or mount registry hives inside any windows operating system hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope it helps you out if you do like the video then hit the like button and also if you enjoy my videos hit the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date when i upload new videos so thanks again for watching guys bye for now